Well, I like to start with the darks, mostly to get that out of the way. It always felt almost scary to add in the dark colors to paintings when I first started, so I just sort of jump all in and figure once I have the darks outlined, I have an idea of what my mid my midtones should look like. I have no formal training with painting, and I know that a lot of people say that you shouldn't start with darks, but I say do whatever works for you. Um, I've been thinking about this painting for quite some time before I started, so I knew the concept I wanted to paint and had been imagining it in my head for um, probably two weeks before I ever put paint to this canvas board. Um, this picture that I found, I found it on Pinterest, and I cannot find who the picture is of, if it's a model, or I can't even actually find the photographer, so if you know who it is, please let me know so that I can give them due credit. Um, as, as I move more and more into portraits, um, I'm noticing a much more, e I have more ease when starting. I just sort of go for it. I'm more comfortable with placing the paint on there and I'm not so worried about messing it up or ruining it because I know with at least oils that I have the time to fix it. So if you're thinking of starting portraits or painting at all, just know that that fear of getting started of when you have a blank canvas or only a sketch and you feel afraid like you're going to ruin it, um, you won't. And to be honest, even if you do, that's okay. Um, I've found that recognizing that all paintings have an ugly stage where you're unhappy with every aspect of the painting, that there's nothing you like about it, you feel like you ruined it, that it's going to be the worst thing you've ever painted, is usually, if you power through it, it always ends up being the best thing, at least in my experience. It's, it's always something that I absolutely love. The more I hated it, ugly stage the more I loved it when I was done so my advice is just jump in even if you don't know what you're doing I mean the the colors you're putting down are pretty irrelevant it's it's all about your value once you figure out your value and, and how it interacts with the picture that you're painting and how to mix the values in multiple different colors, then I think that anyone could succeed at painting whatever they want. I think that some of us are just more comfortable painting specific things. Um, I've found an affinity for portraits. I've been, for the last year, painting mostly landscapes, and then I, I finally delved into portraits about, no, I don't know, a month ago? So this is my, I think my fifth portrait, and I've discovered I find people so much easier than landscapes, and I am shocked because I've always been afraid of people. Um, painting people, I've always found that people are difficult and um, almost like a mountain that you don't think you can climb because every person is individual and the features of human faces can just seem so complicated. But to be honest, they, they aren't really that complicated. Um, it really is more just about getting started and placing the paint on there and pushing it around until you like what you see. And sometimes it means walking away from it. And if you are really feeling like it's, it's really failed, then paint over it. Start all over again. It's always a journey. Whatever you paint, 
there's something new to be learned. Every time I'm done with a painting, I always feel like I've learned some new technique, like I have a better understanding of one part of the painting than I did before I started it. And I always feel like I go into a new painting with just a little bit more confidence. And I just feel that painting is, is an achievable thing for anyone, no matter who you are or how much you've painted or what your experience is or your education. Um, I've been painting off and on for you know, 20 years and I've never, never stuck with it for very long to really achieve any kind of skill. So I've only been painting actively in the last year um, and with oils that was, I've always used other mediums like watercolor or acrylic or graphite. And I never felt confident with it. I never felt like I understood the techniques. I never knew how to find access to how to learn how to do it. And now with YouTube and Skillshare and, and websites like that, it's a lot easier to find someone that uses the medium you're wanting to learn, that has a style that you enjoy, that you can pick up little techniques from and learn little bits here or there and kind of make it your own.
glad you were able to join me today with painting the pink lady. I've been looking forward to painting her for some time and I really hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did and I hope that you join us next time for a little bit of a chat and a new painting. Thank you.